6.33, our top story this half hour. Two Philadelphia SWAT officers who were shot on the job yesterday morning are now out of the hospital. A third officer still in the hospital recovering this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payud is live at Jefferson where that officer is being treated. Jasmine, good morning to you. Tell us how they're doing. Good morning, Janelle. That officer was asked to stay overnight to be monitored. He is the only one in the hospital after two other officers struck were released yesterday. Take a look at this video. Eyewitness News was there as those SWAT officers were released to fellow officers and loved ones. Loved ones of those fellow officers giving him a salute. The three officers were struck while serving a homicide warrant in West Poplar. Police say the suspect, 19 year old Raheem Lee, tried running out the back of the home and started shooting at the officers waiting outside. Lee was shot and later died. We spoke with his aunt who says the team had a troubled past. I believe he lost his way. It's like he gave up on life when his brother, his big brother got killed accidentally by his dad. It was a tragedy back then and now he's just going through something. His, he going through, his mother going through a lot and he lost his way and I, I don't know how he wound up picking up a gun and just thinking it's okay and it's not okay. And my mom always say, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Officer, officers say Lee was wanted for the shooting death of Theodore Bell in August. That officer that's still in the hospital is expected to be released soon. We're live in Center City. Jasmine Payne, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Jasmine, thank you very much.